excited, man. The legendary gingerbread, man. What's going on? Oh, it is, man. TPM 1011. We're here in that side. Lord Court, Blurredale. About to take my brother, versatile, through the block. Tell him a little bit about Walk One, you know, the music, the spirituality, the message, the goal. And then we finna get some juice after. Shout out my guys from Ashe. Get it, man. Excited, man. Let's go. Dude. Shout out Henry behind the camera, Shout too. Out Henry. Know where we at? Blur Street West, Dover Court Road. This is like the gap or the space between um, Bloordale and Bloor Court. Well, Bloordale is more like Dumfries, um, but you know this is the heart of Bloor Court, heart of that side right here. This is where I grew up. This is like my strip. Um, and uh, yeah, beautiful summer day, man. Toronto, yeah, Toronto, Toronto in the summer, nothing better. Nothing better. We grew Famous Blur Mini Mart, you know, get your snacks and stuff. Iconic yellow strip. All right, bro. So what I definitely want to ask you, how did you get into doing what you're doing right now with the music, gingerbread man running around? Talk a bit how that started for you. Yeah, so man, I have always been into rap. I've, I've always found a way to make rap a part of my life. You know, when I was a little kid, my mother and I would, you know, prepare for my spelling tests by you know, setting up the words in a way that would make them rhyme and that I'd, I'd remember them. Um, you know, just listening to rap a lot, I'd say I really got heavy into um, rap as an enthusiast in uh, 2017, 2018. Really got into like UK drill, Chicago drill, just really like gangster rap. And uh, that's kind of where I get a lot of my, my inspiration currently for the way I flow. Um, and, and the stuff I talk about. Obviously, I don't live that life, but I still try to spin my own spirituality with, with stuff, with, with the kind of the flow of, of drill and whatnot. Um, but I got into uh, rapping back in 2019. Uh, I, you know, was going through some like mental health stuff, but, you know, turned out to be like my spiritual awakening. And so, you know, one, one night at 3 a.m., I had some bars going through my head and I'm just like, sitting there to myself or lying down asking myself like why am i not writing this down so you know i got up out of my bed 3 a.m i found like the second i remember it was the second beat i found just search of whatever type beat it was a polo g type beat and and then i just started writing my first track and that turned out to be my 10 11 anti freestyle um you know the goal when i started rapping was to was not to blow up and not to like show off or anything but really to see if this was a good outlet for my mental health problems and um, you know if I did find some empowerment from from writing down about you know my experiences and what I was going through at the time and uh, eventually it turned out to to be a passion a hobby of mine and over time I realized that rap has been such an important aspect of, of my life and how I express myself and and the happiness that I I, I I received from my external environment so that's kind of how it all started and then from there I I used it as a channel to uh, make sense of, of the things that I'd experienced spiritually through meditation and you know my everyday life and you know my, my, my spiritual trips and whatnot that's kind of how it all started and gingerbread man is uh, is my way of accepting being born as a ginger you know a lot of people would tease me for being a ginger you know like gingers have no souls and all of that shit but you know that was kind of my way of like uh, embracing the, the the stereotype of being a ginger by calling myself the gingerbread man eight mile strategy yeah exactly you know just just loving who i am and and and, and embracing you know the blessing of being being a redhead so it, it is certainly an iconic aspect of, of my brand. And uh, you know, from there, I didn't really, I wouldn't say I've taken rap too seriously up until now because school has been the priority. I just graduated from Toronto Metropolitan University. So now that I'm done, I've got like five, six projects for the next year. I just dropped my Big Mind music video 
which was released recently a few like last week so you know a lot a lot to come a lot to come for gbm 1011 and uh you know super gas to to be taking y'all through the journey i love that bro that's a fire story that i don't think you've told yet so that's very exclusive yeah. amazing to hear talk a little bit too you talk about nest side a lot explain that for for the people watching so i feel like in in a lot of a lot of neighborhoods in the city and this is definitely not a toronto thing but um, a lot of blocks you know refer to themselves as something other than the name that was given to them you know for instance like places call themselves the jungle or you know any like a different name from right. what their neighborhood what what the city refers to as that particular neighborhood and you know my block is 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 formally known as blur court or blurdale but i decided to give my block the name of of the nest um, and the meaning behind the nest is kind of like the nest is where a baby bird grows right and in my spirituality I I, I look at wings as a metaphor as of, of spiritual ascension so the, the stronger your wings are the the more able you are to ascend into higher realms of understanding and awareness so in in my block this is kind of where I'm learning about reality the word I'm learning about my connection to God. Uh, you know, I'm being nurtured by my external environment. I'm being blessed by people like yourself who come into the nest to teach me about who I am, what it is that I want to do until I leave the nest, right? Until I go uh, into those higher states of awareness. And like leaving the nest to me is when I pass on, when I die. So when I die, I leave the nest. I fly out of the nest and I go about my mission in in the astral and 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 all and all those other spiritual dimensions and whatnot so third dimension is really the nest but like i call my block the nest really because this is where most of my growth in my life has happened um so it's very spiritual it has a lot of spiritual meanings but i got love for all my brothers who who call the block the nest as well because uh, you know it's, it's 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 nice to know that my friends also refer to for, to the block as the nest as well because it's a cool name too you know like nest sides the nest uh like so that's that. a little bit a bit behind uh, what what the nest is or what nest side is i love that man all about growth all about spreading your wings i fuck with that exactly. shout out to the nest side shout out to gbm Just keep walking that's End off the day with some Ashe Juicery, Ashe, Ashe. 982 Bloor Street West, man. Support local, support GBM. Versatile Vigilante, at Versatile Vigilante. What's your social, bro? Gingerbread1011 on Instagram, man. You know where we at, man. Come by to the nest. Come by to the nest. Shout out Henry behind the camera. Versatile Vigilante forever, man. Let's get it.